Balloons are a key part of being a birthday clown, and also for predicting storms. It's weird that there's any overlap, right? Let's see what those weather balloons are up to. Some people come to college seeking wisdom. Some people come to college seeking love. And some people come to college to storm chase. Today, I'm at the College of Engineering and Mines to meet one of these storm chasers, meteorology graduate student Lexi Elizalde. So whenever I was little in elementary school, my town had a convention for severe weather and storm chasers. And my parents were like, you know what? She loves weather, let's take her. It absolutely fueled my passion and made me want to become a meteorologist. Today, Lexi is going to tell us about storm chasing and how to measure atmospheric condition with weather balloons. Walk me through the process of storm chasing. So I'm still technically going to school, but during the summer, whenever there are storms to chase, I definitely go every time I can. I start forecasting a few days out, looking at models. And as it gets a little bit closer, then I start to look at actual observations around the area. Then whenever the day comes, if it's looking good still, then I'm like, all right, let's pack up and let's go. What's your next step? What do you do then? I take pictures and I always stay out ahead of the storms. I never get into the storms. I actually never even get a drop of rain on my car, typically. So safety is a really important part of your job. It's number one priority. Meteorologists around the world make their forecasts with the help of weather balloons, and almost 900 are released every single day. Lexi is launching a balloon this afternoon with help from fellow grad students, Jake and Sam, advisor, Dr. Claybo, and uh, me. So here we have the balloon itself, and it is attached to a parachute, which is attached to some more string, mm -hmm. and then attached to a radio sign that we have there at the end, and that's what we call a train. So it goes up and it comes back down. As the balloon pops, as it gets higher up in the atmosphere, it doesn't just fall straight down onto somebody or somebody's car, it has a parachute attached, so it'll safely fall down. What do we have with the radio on? As it goes through the atmosphere, it measures pressure, temperature, relative humidity, wind speed, all sorts of things. So ultimately, what are we testing for? So the thing you might not know about storms is that they actually build vertically. We need to see exactly what's going on as it goes up through the atmosphere. That would lead to these storms potentially getting going and building and sustaining themselves. What are the steps for a storm building? So we need to have three ingredients, which is instability, lift, and moisture. For instability, we need to make make sure that the storm stays warmer than its surroundings. For lift, we need some sort of mechanism, whether it's winds forcing it up or a front or even mountains to keep it going up into the atmosphere. And then we also need moisture. Before the balloon can take off, we need to fill it with helium, a lot of helium. It is so big, this is amazing. So the pressure is much more down here and far less in the atmosphere. So as it goes higher into the atmosphere, it will actually expand to three times the size. It gets even bigger. It gets even bigger. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. Yay. Yay. All right, high fives everybody. Yeah. High fives. With the balloon in the air, Lexi can start looking at the data on her laptop. The radio sonde transmits wirelessly to this receiver, allowing her to measure temperature, pressure, dew point, and more, all the way from the surface to sometimes 100,000 feet in the air. How do we use the information that we found out about today's weather for the future? The Weather Service actually collects it twice a day, and other scientists also release their own weather balloons depending on their location. Weather impacts our daily lives, and everything that we do, playing softball games or sports, going fishing, growing crops, even planes taking off. They need to know the most up-to-date and accurate weather as possible. Lexi, this was so much fun. Thank you for showing me your work. I don't know if I'm tough enough for storm chasing, but you know, do they have like drizzle chasers? Because I think I could do that. Just be safe. I will. Bye. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.